Hello. Hello, Mr. Allen. Hello, Mr. Mario. Hi, guys. You're Mario. not shaving like uh, You're growing a beard? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get, I'm, you know, taking a break till Friday. I figure once a week is enough, you know. I don't, <laughs> want, I don't want to impress people, I you see. know. You know, I don't want to press people here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too lazy to shave every day. Are you still, are you home or are you back? You're still in Palm Springs? No, we're home. You're home, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it raining out there in Palm Springs? Did they get some rain too? Uh, I don't think it's raining. Check. Uh... I, was there, I was there in Fontana today. It was raining this afternoon. Oh. And then, oh. then I hit the. Yeah, it, rain. It, it, it's raining for the next half hour. That's it. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I hit the rain on Fontana. It was on the freeway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, you know. So you avoided the ten, obviously, you avoided the 10 downtown, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're so afraid to say they messed up. They're allowing all these homeless people to live under the freeway. Of course, they they set the they fires but for they sure. They won't admit it. Oh, it's they said arson. Of course, it's arson. They're cooking under the freeway. Yeah, well, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No, but there's also, of... there's also storage areas, Harold. Like the yeah, there's rent. storage there, but all this all this liquid that was very flammable. So someone throws a match in there, the whole place goes up. And they and, and a lot of. There are pallets there. There's all the kinds pallets, of things. They had there's, uh, hand sanitizer. There's, there's they cars. Have power. They get yeah, power. They steal it from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's no. true. Yeah, I know. There's, you know that they 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 have new cars it's under not, the freeway too. It's not what, how could they charge their phones to homeless people? Right. No, no, they all have phones. All have phones. Yeah. The Obama phone, too, you know, the three phones. Right. So where, where are we holding? You give us 13, right? 13, no? Gufa, Gufa. Umalam Bashem. These cases are when somebody gave a personal item to a friend to watch. As a picado, he's going to China. He, he needs somebody to watch something of his. Then he comes back and he says, Give me my item back. He says, You never gave me anything. The person denies it. That's called the chichesh bamiso be picado. Now, 
the pasuk says umala mal bashem the khirish ba misab bikadam the rabus katrim kalim shema mon meaning if you had had an animal you designated as a shlomi and you gave that animal to somebody to watch the same din applies as if you gave them your tea kettle or whatever whatever personal item you own because according to Rabbi Yosef Lili, it's considered, considered a personal private asset. And therefore you have to, in that case, you have to bring, if you denied, if, if the Shoemer denied that he ever got it, he has to bring a Corbin Asham, he has to bring an extra fifth. And that's the, and the same would apply if you gave him a behema that was Niskadesh Pekdusha's Kachim Kali. Then as I the rabbi says a shlom. It's not Kachim Kali. It's specifically a shlom. There are many types of Kachim Kali. Chor, Meiser, Pesach, Shlomim. So Ben Azai says it's only shlom. Abba Yosef Ben Dostoy Omer Lo Omer Ben Azai Ela B'Bchor Bilva. And uh, but he says that what Benazim meant was a Bechor. We're on your Gimel. We're, we're involved in a complicated sugya of Moal, Moala Moal Basha. You gave it, you gave somebody an item to watch. You went to China. You come back a year later, you say, Give me back my item. You, say, you never gave me anything. Then we find out that it's false. He did have it. So he has to he has to pay an extra fifth, an extra twenty percent as a fine. He has to bring a korban asham. And we said this applies not only if you gave somebody to watch a private personal asset of yours, but even an animal that was sanctified with kedushas kedushas kalim kachim kalim, the same din would apply. So the gemara wants. So, so Omar Mar, the Nazi Omar, the Rabbis is a shlami. The Mute Mai, what is this excluding? Elam and the Mute Bechor, so that to say that a regular shlami would follow this rule, but a Bechor, an animal that's born with Kedusha's Bechor, is not considered mom and bailim. The Gemara doesn't understand. Hashta umashlamim shetuunim smicha. When you bring a korban shlamim, the owners have to lean their hands on the head of the animal prior to the korban. Ve yesh nesachim. You have to bring wine libations. There is trufas chazav shok. You and the kohen have to wear wave. The breast and the thigh. And yet, Amrit, Mamar Bailimu, yet you say that when the animal is alive, it's considered Mamar Bailim. Bechor, which doesn't have any of these special stringencies. Meboy, would it be any Shaila that it would be considered Mamar uh, Bailim? El Amr of Yechnon. When Ben Azai came to say Shlomim, it's Lemu'ute Meiser. Meaning that would not be considered moment by them. If you are a cattle grower, once a season, you have to put all your cattle that are born into a corral. You lead them out through a single file chute. And then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you mark it, and every tenth animal is a miser. That animal has to be offered as a Corbin Shlomi. But it has certain dinim. And one of the dinim is a miser is excluded. It's not considered moment by Kiritan. Bibchor Nemar, it says, Ach Bechor Lo Sifte. You cannot redeem a b'chor to make it chulim completely to be able to sell its flesh in a butcher shop. 
because it's born with Kedushas Bechor. But the Nimkar Tamchai, you can sell a Bechor that is unblemished while it's alive. And a Balmum Bechor, a, a Bechor that has a blemish, you can sell it Chai and Shoch. You could sell it alive or after a shita. Uva Meister Nemer Lo Yigael. The Torah says specifically by Meister you can't redeem it. Therefore, Eno Nimkar Lo Chai Lo Shachu, Lo Tam Lo Bamu. You cannot sell a Meister. So its its din is not like other kachin kalim. You see, the Bailim don't have any personal financial stake in that animal, whether it's alive or dead. Rather, after you offer it as a korban, you're allowed to eat the meat. You are zoiche from shulchan gavoa. It's like you're eating shrayim from the Rebbe's tish. Okay. So when Benazai said, the rabbi says a shlomi, we came to exclude a miser. Ravina masti la safe. Ravina learned this sugya on the safe, that Abi Yosi ben Destoy Oimer, Lo Omer ben Azai El Bechor Bilvai, that Ben Azai was referring to Bechor. The Meute Ma Ilem and the Meute Shlomim, but a Bechor, yes, not a Shlomim, no. Hashem Ma Bechor Shu Kodesh Mi Rechem. A Bechor is born sanctified, yet Mamono, yet it's considered Mom and Bailey. Shlomim. That is not born that way. You have to be Magdashit. My boy, that is there any shy that it would be his personal asset? Amrav Yechnon, that Limute Meiser, that it's coming to exclude a Meiser, that a Meiser is not considered mom and Bible, Kiditanya. Bibchor never lo yisifte yet. Nim kartam chayu bamum chayu vishach. It's sold. Unblemished lot, and it's sold as a bamum alive and shechted. The meister never lo yiga el eno nim kar lo chay velo shach velo tam lo bamum. So must be meister is excluded. Frey the more habib chor bilvad koma, but Abba Yosi said that it's what is excluded is bechor. So based on that perush kasha. On the, the initial way we explained it works, but on the second way it doesn't work. Now, Rava Omar, when it said in our Mishnah that there's no din of damages by assets where there's no me'ila, what the kavana is is they're, they're not hegdish. My new, the chosim shall head you. It means private assets that belong to regular people. Call it. That, if you damage, you'd have to pay. The listening, the chasim of head. Why, why make this complicated statement, the chasim she'en ben mila? Just say head yet. Kasha. That's a good kasha. Amra Baba. Shlomim she'ziku. You have a Corbin Shlomim and it damaged somebody else's animal. Goiva Mibsarum. So the one who was damaged can collect from the, from the meat of the Shlomim. But ain't a govin me mureya. The, the chalev, the intestines that you put on the Mizbech, you, you can't collect from them. Pshita, emor lagavoa salki. Of course. The Amorim go to the, go to Hashem. How could he collect from it? Lo tzricha. The chiddush is lo goyvim epsorin kineged emor. If, for example, it was an unblemished, for example, if it was a shore that had never gored before, where and then when it gores, you have to pay chatzin nezek from the goof of the mazik of from the. Carcass of the animal that gored. You can only collect from the meat part, not from the emorim part. You have to deduct the value of the emorim. 
Now, Alibid Rabban. He Alibid Rabban on. Now, there's a machlokas between Rabban and Rav Nosen, where my ox pushed your ox into a pit. Now, the Rabbanan hold that the owner of the ox, if the ox was had never done it before, he only pays a quarter of the damage. If the ox was a muad had done it before, Mishan Maktisan, he pays half the damage. And the owner of the boar is part of it completely. Yeah, he dug the boar, but the other guy's animal pushed the other animal into it. We don't say that the bala boar pays the other half. According to the Chachamim, we hold like that. Shita, that he doesn't collect from the Emurim. Ha'amri Since I can't collect all of it because part of it is do the boy, you can't collect this either. However, Ialiba Ravnas, he says that the owner of the board does have to participate in the pain. Whenever you can't collect from one guy, you collect from the other guy. The Bala board pays the, the, def, the deficit and the damage. Would it make a difference if he if he watched the boar, if he was a showman on the board, and the gore came charging and knocked him in? Without maybe we could say that that he's putter from that. Why would it? Why would be high? if he's if he's watching the boar, take care of it? He did everything he could, so he shouldn't be high at all. I'm not sure that that's a. I'm not sure that that's a defense. In order to do shmir of the boar, you got to cover the boar. If you left the boar uncovered, that's not the proper shmir. So it, oh. we're talking about though a case where. Another ox pushed the ox into the boar. I understand. If the boar, if the boar wasn't there, the ox wouldn't have died. Just by pushing an ox doesn't kill the boar, doesn't kill the shore. So the Rabbonon and Echanami hold that the Bala boar is potter. But Rav Nosan holds that the Bala boar is high for the other half. Eboy Sim, if you want, I can explain it on Rav Nosan. Eboy Sim, Rabbonon. When do we say that you don't collect from the Balabor? That's betray Goofy. You have a Balashor who was the Mazik, and you have the Balabor. I have a Bachat Gufa. Now, in a case of a Shlomim, where the two methods of payment are the same animal, you have the meat and you have the Amurim. Maybe Motsi Amrullah, maybe the guy who was damaged can say to the Muslim, Listen, I'm going to collect from whatever I can collect from. And you can't tell me I can only collect from a certain piece. So Ravava said, It's not so. And you, you cannot collect from the Emu. So it's a Chiddush. And Eboy Seyma Ravnos. Hosom to Amrle. There the Bala Shore. Who was damaged can say to the owner of the boar, I'm not toy because listen, I found my dead shore in your boar. He could have died even without being pushed, could have just fallen in himself. My If I can't collect from this guy, I'm gonna collect from you. Avalach be but here by the by the shlomim. The Basar Azik and Moin Azik. He pushed with his whole body. And can you say that he didn't do damage from the Amur? And he did do damage from him. So maybe the Nizik loses out. So we say, no, he doesn't lose out. Amarava. If you designated an animal to be a Corbin Toda. Now, what's unique about a Corbin Toda is you have to bring 40 loaves of bread with you. Now, this animal, Hizika, did damage. You collect from the 
meat, but not from the bread. So, lechem pshito, I mean, why would he collect from the lechem? He was not part of the animal that did the do- damage. So the Kiddush is safe, it's trechel. So anizik oichel baser. Let's say you owe the guy if you did damage $50 worth of meat. He eats $50, either part of it or the whole thing of the meat. Vahamiskaper, the owner of the Korban Toda, maybe it's a lechem. So I'm not even why, why would the lechem not be able to be given? You have to give it. You can't offer the Toda without the lechem. It machshers it. But you eat the meat and I have to bring the bread, you bring the bread. The lechem has to be brought by the bailim, the owner of the korban, and it's not connected to whoever eats the meat. So even if the nizik ate the meat, the owner has to bring the lechem. Then we send the chosim shein shel bnei bris. To say, it's only when you damage a Jew's property that you have to pay damages, but not a goy. There's a later Mishnah, a Jewish ox that gores a non Jewish, an ox owned by a goy potter. So, ton of Adam of Farish. It's an example of something that is taught and then explained. Then we said in the Mishnah, Nechosim Am Yuchadim. Define Nechosim, owned by a certain person. So Lemute Mai, who is that excluding? On Rav Yehuda. Ernie, that's a Gzairag Sakratov that, that we know, Chayev. You know, if, if your show goes somebody else's show, you're Chayev. What was that? So you go, you go to Goy's show. What, what? He's not part of the... the that's a Gzairag Sakratov because it talks... It says Bnei Yisrael. It's it's, it's a pasuk. It is exerus It's exerus We're gonna learn that. That, that, that doesn't it's, cause aima. I mean, it doesn't cause that. I mean, can you imagine that they see this and they say, oh, "You look at look, we're God, we're nothing. We don't get paid damages." What is that? The Rambam says that's the halach. Shorshul Yisrael. I understand. No, got shorshul goy. Ben Kano ben Moed Potter. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, I don't understand that law. Okay. Oh. If a person murdered a goy, he wasn't put to death either. I, I mean, I, in Jewish court. I, I got it. I got it. I understand. I got it. But I'm just now, telling you. Now, that, now yes. we have dinim of Mishum Eva. That means Mishum Eva, maybe the, I, I don't, there's no dinim mominus. Yeah, that's no what I said. But Mishum Eva, you have a lot of dinim Mishum Eva. Right. So, maybe. Maybe in, 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 in not to, for there not to be a riot where people get killed. Maybe you know there, there has to be some accommodation. Even if we do everything right, we get in trouble. So I don't know exactly. what Mishnah means. I don't know what it means. Om Rav Yudel Meute. What is Nechosim Yuchadim? You have two. You have a shore gourd. But we don't know whose it is. If you don't know specifically who the owner of the shore is, there's no chiyuv. The Gemara says, "Atari lekamot." We learned it. You see, two ox running after a third ox, and then you find the ox that was being chased killed. We don't have any proof to say which one did. So it's not a nechosim yuchodim. So the Gemara says, Amos Mechavero, is it? Would that be a case of Amos Mechavero? Oh, it's the din of nechosim yuchodim. We need to know for sure who the owner of this nechas is. Then your chayv damages. If we don't know who the owner is, there's no chayv. It's, 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 it's beyond... Motzi Chaver Alav implies that there's a, there, somebody has a claim on somebody. There's no claim here. There's a complete tour. Uh-huh. If there's no, if we don't know who the owner is, uh, if we don't know who did the damage, who, who are we going to claim to? 
Vimasnisa Tana, a different Pshat. Prat Lenichse Hefker. There's no owner. Somebody, the, somebody had made this property ownerless and it did damage. It's Potter. Now the Gemara wants to hechi dot. E leme de nagach tor di dono tor de hefker. If our shore damaged a shore of hefker, so man tovale. I mean, who are you going to collect damages from? There's no owner. Ela shen nagach tor shel hefker le tor di dot. It was hefker shore that gored my shore. So lazel velezit. Let the nizik be able just to take the the shore that did the goring, and it's his now. So we're, it's not that simple. We're talking about Bishakodim v'zocha ba'acher. Somebody had already claimed the shore after it had done damage. So he just can't come and take it. And he can't claim the damages from the guy who's holding it because when it's gored, it hadn't belonged to him. So that's another explanation of what it means to exclude that case. Ravina Amar Lema'ute, another exclusion. I owned a shore, it gored, and then I magdished it to base of Or I owned a shore, it it damaged somebody, and then I made it hefker. He's potter, because it's not a shore that belongs to anybody. It's got to belong from somebody from beginning till the end, in order for there to be a chiyuv touch Why don't we say? Why don't we say it's like a bore that you can't be mafker somebody? You build it, you, you dig a bore and mafker it. You can't be mafker it. So the same thing as Shor Shadava, you can't be mafker it. You're responsible as soon as it goes. So how can you be mafker something? Because you're allowed, be you're allowed to be mafker. You're allowed to be mafker. But it's, it's a, so it's the same thing as a bore. It's as a bore. You build a bore and you and you mafker it. So you won't. You dug, you dug a bore in Rishus Arabi. Right. Okay. So, so, you, so that's a, well, so what does it mean who, that it's your bore? It is you that you you didn't. I, the Torah puts it into your Rishus. So, so the same that, thing that's, a, that's, an extra, that's an extra legal case. But this is a, a metaltalin, a shore that you're allowed to either be magdishit or you're allowed to be mafkirit. And in fact, you can escape your potter from damages. The thing is, once it gores something, then you have the liability of that shore. Uh, you can't be mafkirit. You take your you know, you know that's, that you That's you saying that. That's not what Halacha says. Shor okay. she the Rambam says, and the Shulchan Aruch. Shor she hizik ulaachem ikein kodim shalamah bedin. Before there was amoda bedin. If there was amoda bedin, oh, Bezdin yeah. adjudicated the case and made you chayiv. So, so it doesn't make a difference what happens at that point. But oh, why do amoda bedin? Igdishu baila or hivkiru areze potter. If Bezdin puts a hischaivus on you, so then that, that you can't get rid of. Okay. And if you if you gave it to Bezdin and you I mean if you gave it to Higdish, this I understand. But to be mafkir, you know that the shore gold, you know it's a, you did it you did it on purpose. You mafkir something that the, you knew the shore gold, the damages would be more than what your shore is worth. So you just mafkir it. What, what what is that? I don't understand that. Why do you understand Hegdish? No, Hegdish. Hold on it's a, a it's a dodge in both in both ways. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. They, but it's a dodge in both ways. It's correct. Dodge. It's correct. But we it's have loopholes in Aloha. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that it's the correct thing to do. Maybe it's a it's a, a way to to dodge out of it, but it's not. The, it could be the not the correct thing. There, there is such a thing, you know. Yes. Even though the halacha says something, it doesn't mean that you can do that. It doesn't mean that you're a you're a tzaddik. Let's see what the brisa says. Tanya Malachi. 
Yetzra Kenom Rabbi Yehuda. Afilu Nogach Vaachar Kach Higdish. Nogach Vaachar Kach Hifkir Potter. Shekei Nemar. All of this is Xeris HaKosu. It's not Al Svara. Al Svara, it would be like Walter. What kind of what kind of nonsense is this? But these are all psukim. It says, "Vuhu ad bivalav, they mis isho isha, ad shete misa v'amode bedin shavin keechad." The misa of the other animal and take being taken to din, where there's witnesses that come and and say that the owner of the shore is the mazik. That's who ad bivalav. Yeah, there has to be bailus from the beginning to end. And if there's no bailim, you're not chay for it. If there's a bedin, you're chay. Afraid the Gemara, Gemara din lo beinim? Why don't you need the bailim present even by Gemara din? Ha, the Postwit says, Hashor yisakel begam balav yumas. Be Gemara dinu dikosim. That's not a moda bedin. Ela em achate misa. In fact, you need the owner to be present throughout the process. The damage, Hamad Bedin and Gmar did. And if there isn't, he would be Potter. The Mishnah said that if the Nizik shore walked into my property, and my shore did damage to it. I'm potter. The Amrle, Torcha B'shusim. What was your ox doing on my on my property? So I'm not uh, not uh, responsible for my shore doing damage to your shore if your shore came into my property. And also a jointly owned property. Rishusa Nizik ve'amaz. You're also potter. Aruch Chazam Ravimi Chatzra Shutafim. If two partners own a chutzer, chayiv ba shein ba la If my animal damaged your animal, both in the same property, I'd be chayiv for shein and regya. Vachi kama chutz mershusam yuchedes la mazik shapot. If it was only owned by the mazik, then the mazik would be potter. But mershusam nizik ve mazik. Then you have to pay Shane Varegel. Rabbi Lezer Oimer, Potter Allah Shane Varegel. Rabbi Lezer argues and said you'd be Potter. That when you do damage, you're chayiv to pay. Except if somebody else's shore wandered into my property and my shore did damage. And says Rabbi Lezer, if it's jointly owned, it would, there will also be a tour. And the Mishnah continued, when he does damage, the Mazik has to pay. Lasui Karen, even Karen. Hani Shmuel. So if you remember, Shor bore Mave Ve'esh. So we had a Machlokas Rav and Shmuel. Shmuel said Shor referred to Regal and Shane. So then it fits. We need an, another Limud for Karen. But El Le Rav, Shamar Tan Shor Vachomila De Shor. Rav learned Shor includes everything, right? Regal, Shane, and Karen. So what is Chava Mazik La I thought you told me you need it to include Karen. You don't need it because Rav holds that Karen's already included. Oh, La Sui Adetan Rabon. It comes to include the following. Kishihizi Chava Mazik. That's La Abi Shor Mechinim Vashor El Noisus Soch Vasoicha. The four shoimri, an unpaid watchman, a watch, uh, a borrower, a paid watchman, a renter. She zika behema birshusa. The animal did damage, and they were shoes. Tam mishal chatzinezik. If it's a tam, he pays chatzinezik. Muid mishal nezik sholik. Nifritsa. If the gate got damaged, palayla. So it's not his fault. Or Shepatsu least to be Ezek. It went out because robbers opened up the gate and it did damage Potter. So the Gemara is going to explain the case. Amrma. 
meaning the person who, person who lent his ox to somebody who was borrowing it, and the borrower had his own ox, and the lender's ox damaged the shoyal's ox. And now you tell me, therefore, the one who lent the shore has to pay the shoel. Lemele, the marshals, the one who lent should say, Ilu azik ba'alma bois lishlume'at. If my ox that I loaned you damaged somebody else's ox, you would have had to pay because you were responsible. You had to protect the ox that I loaned to you. Now that your ox also did damage, I have to pay you for that? It's just the opposite. The borrower's shore damaged the shore that he had borrowed. And the price says that the shore has to pay to the mashal chatsi nezer. Lay malay. So again, the lender should say, when when I ilu when I lent you my shore, itzik me alma boys lishume kulatora, he went out and did damage to somebody, or he got damaged by another shore. You'd have to pay me the full damages for this shore, because a shore is chayv to pay for everything. Hashta the az ketor ditcha palganiska. Now that your shore tom damaged my shore, I only get I only get chatsi nesek. So what's the case? So the oil does get toward the mashal toward the shore. It was the lender's ox that gored the borrower's shore. Ah, what about the tainoch maskinon? She keep it alive. Shmiras gufo. The shore accepted only to watch the shore that it wouldn't do damage. But the keep it alive. Shmiras nezaka. But he wouldn't. He wouldn't accept the responsibility of if it went out and did damage to other things. And that's how we have to explain the case. Okay, tomorrow, we will learn also at 7.30. Tony, I have a question. Amua, how many times can it go before it kills? No, three times. Three times. It comes to Amua three times. Okay. Ernie, tomorrow is Fika, right? So, so, so we can... Is Smiri giving a shear tomorrow? 